to another edition of Cars and Us. Today we're up in Kingston, New York. We traveled about, uh, oh, 60 miles, took us about an hour and an hour and 20 minutes or so to come up to this beautiful Robert Post uh, Park right up here on the Hudson. Uh, it's just a gorgeous setting up here. Um, it's the 25, 25th uh, annual Mustang uh, Club, uh, Mustang Valley Club. Um, and uh, this is where they've been doing the last couple of years. It's uh, like I said, it's just a gorgeous site. Um, and behind us is the is the is the Hudson River. Um, you'll see a beautiful shot of the Hudson, and um, uh, we're just over the uh, Rhinecliff Bridge. So uh, it's 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 a, a beautiful park. Um, we're we're pretty early on in the day, and already they've got over 100 cars. Uh, last year they had about 160 cars. So they're expecting probably at least that, if not more, because every year the show does build. So um, later on, we're going to get a uh, chance to talk with uh, my good friend Bob Clark, who has his uh, Cougar up here today. He's got a couple of cars, but we'll talk about that after. We'll bring him on, and uh, we'll talk about him, his involvement in running this show and, and with the club and everything else. So stick with us for the next 30 minutes. As I said uh, on my intro, I was going to introduce you to my good friend Bob Clark who was standing alongside of me, and I want to welcome you to Cars and Us, hey, Bob. Nice to see you again. It's and good to uh, see you. It's the first time uh, I've been up here. I know you've been after me a number of years, yeah, and yeah. Uh, it was one thing or another. Either you got rained out or we had something else to do, but um, uh, it, this setting is everything you said it, it would be. It's just gorgeous up here. This is picture perfect, and the day for a show is just outstanding. Couldn't ask for a better day. No, definitely not. We couldn't ask for anything better than this. Uh, we would just appreciate everyone coming out here, and it's yeah. a beautiful day, beautiful show, and we appreciate you guys coming out here and interviewing us and supporting the hobby and supporting our show and uh, supporting something that's great like this. Uh, also, today, we're going to do a little bit something different uh, with uh, the 50-50. We're going to do something, uh, donations, our, our portion of the donations of the 50-50 will go to the 727 Military Police, which uh, my son is stationed in Baghdad, and uh, we're going to try and support the guys coming home in September. So that's a little something else that we're going to do today, and we'll have some giveaways, and we'll have some other stuff that we'll do, and uh, we'll keep it interesting. Got good food, good people, and a lot of cars. So far, it's great. It's really outstanding. Uh, that's nice to hear that the money is going to the troops, and, and uh, for whatever uh, uh, it's going to take to bring them back, and, uh, and, and to appreciate the fact that they were there when they do come back, because oh, yeah. they have to be recognized. We can't go through another um, Vietnam era. Oh, no, definitely not. But, uh, you know, these guys and women, there's uh, 47 of them out here. They're all from the Poughkeepsie area. Yeah. And uh, there's, I think, three women. And uh, 
I mean, they're all doing their job over there. They're doing what they have to do. They don't get political. They just do what they have to do. And so long as everybody comes home safe and not just their unit, but everybody, uh, we'll be happy. We'll be very happy. Bobby, tell me about, a little bit about the club. Uh, the club has been around for 25 years, as you can see by the 25th annual show. Uh, just a bunch of great guys and gals and uh, we're all interested in the hobby. Some of them don't even have cars anymore. They've been members for so long. They just don't even have cars anymore. And uh, they just come and support this and the hobby. And uh, so the club has been around for quite some time. We're looking for new members, as always. But, uh, sure. but uh, you know, we support this hobby. And we, as you can see, a lot of Mustangs is a Mustang club. But you can see that there's no other type of car that can't be represented here. Oh, there's a, quite a variety here. I mean, we got street rods. Uh, we got muscle cars. We got a little bit of everything. In fact, Speaking of muscle cars, that's what you actually brought, even though yours is a, a Ford product. Uh, you brought your Cougar today. Right. I brought my Mercury Cougar today. Yeah, it's uh, a 69 Mercury Cougar. It's uh, supposed to have a 428, and it's got a 402 in it. And uh, I have a Shelby. And, uh, that's the one that's, I was uh, You give me a segue, okay? <laughs> that's the one that you, know, you normally see me with. Right. But uh, I didn't take that today for no other reason than just to take this other car out and, right. uh, and drive this. But uh, like I said, a lot of the club members have Shelbys and have... Uh, Roush cars and you know all different types yeah. of cars actually one of our members has a gt and uh you know just a, a, a ford station wagon i mean just a, a broad spectrum of, yeah that's of what we've cars. seen so far yeah. uh also so the viewers know uh you live in wappingers uh you come down to support our crews down at granite springs and yes. somers but um you're in your own business and i kind of wanted to give a little plug uh, for that, because you basically work in uh, mid to lower Westchester anyway. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, my business is called Central Sewer Service, and I'm a drain cleaner. We're out of the Port Chester, Peekskill area. Been around for oh, 22 years myself that I own it, and uh, probably 35 years altogether uh, being in business. So it's a family-run business. Myself, my wife, uh, my kids, and hopefully when my son comes home, he'll come into business also. Take, take after yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, it, it's great. You know, uh, I know you do a good job because you've been, you know, at my house as well and helped yeah. me out. But um, uh, we have a mutual friend over here who is in the same business. We got oh, yeah. uh, Tommy Fernero, better known yeah. as to our viewers, a shadow from yeah. Port Chester. Oh, yeah. Tommy's, or Greenwich, actually. Yeah, Tommy's a great guy. He's here with his Callaway Corvette. And, yeah. uh, and uh, actually, Tommy has helped me out in my business in so many different ways. I can't even thank him enough. But yeah. uh, I'm glad for him to come out. He came all the way up from Port Chester. So, yeah. And you came all the way up from Yorktown. There's people from all over the place. And uh, yeah. it, it's, a, it's a great day. It's a great day. Well, you know what? This is what it's about, whether they're Fords or Chevrolets or Plymouths or whatever. You know what? The show is the show. It's the cars and the cars. A to Z. That's Ambassador it. to Zephyr. That's I don't it. care what it is. That's if it. it's a car and people love you it, all, you know. We all share the common bond. We're all interested in it. And you know what? We look forward to a great show today. Uh, nice music, uh, good food, and good camaraderie. Oh, yeah. And it's good to see you guys out here, Richie and Dennis. And I'm, I'm glad you guys came. I'm well, I told you. I night. told you I'd be here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm, I try to be a man of my word. You yes, know? Yeah, and yes, you are. And yes, you are. And you've so, uh, been a great buddy. And uh, I'm just We'll I'm cover just it for you. Here. We'll get a great show. Maybe if we get enough, uh, we'll get two shows out of it, oh, you know. Good. And um, and then we'll get your club a DVD. And, and so you guys can see it afterwards. Great. You know? I'm so glad you guys came out here, Dennis. Thank you so Bobby. much. It's always Thank a you. pleasure. It's always it's a pleasure. pleasure. My and pleasure. Uh, good luck, and I hope the show turns out real well, which I'm sure it will. It will. It will. But we'll, uh, we'll walk around, and we'll see you later. Okay, Dennis. Thank you. One of the uh, real nice cars that pulled in here earlier on, and we're getting a chance to meet uh, with Tom Waitsek. Uh, him and his wife, Phyllis, own this beautiful 1955 Chevrolet Nomad wagon. And we want to welcome you, Tom, to Cars and Us. How you doing? And actually to the uh, uh, 25th Annual uh, Mustang uh, Car Club Show. Um, which is uh, really nice. Our first time up here. My good friend Bob Clark uh, is instrumental in, in, uh, in running this this, uh, this show is along with the club. But um, as I said, uh, this uh, show is open to all makes and models and everything. And it's really nice to see a Nomad. We really don't see too many Nomads. They're uh, they're pretty rare. There were uh, 23,000 produced in 55, 6, and 7. It was the first two-door sport wagon that Chevy made. It's not a stock motor. I got a 283 with an AFB four barrel, three speed with electric overdrive. It gets about 26 miles to the gallon if you keep your foot out of it. Now, you know what? That's a very rare option, that, that uh, electric overdrive. That's the way I got it from California. One of my customers brought it back in 74. I looked at it. I offered him twice of what he paid for it. Not for sale. It's a keeper, he said. Yeah. Two years later, he needed the money. Yeah. Well, that, that happens. I hear many stories. Trust me. And over the 13 years that I've been doing this, I hear uh, many of the similar <clears throat> stories. How uh, the car's not for sale, and then guy gives him his phone number, and uh, a, a month, a year later, two years later, he calls up and says, "You know what? 
I've decided to sell the car. So whether it's uh, circumstances, whether it's financial circumstances or whatever, but the, the cars do wind up getting uh, sold. But at least uh, they go to an owner that uh, appreciates the car and that knows what he, what he wanted in the first place. If you noticed my license plate. Real mad. I got that after I was rear-ended in a car cruise to support the troops. Uh, we were doing about 35, 40, and I hear tires and screeching. I looked up, and a guy hit us about 75, 80 in the tail fin. Pushed us to the right, mounted a guardrail, went airborne, snapped the seat off the floor. And we got it back together after a year and a half. Looks pretty good, but... Not and so you never had any problems with it handling or anything? Oh, after no, it? no. You know what I you know what I like on it uh, the, um, the 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 wheels uh, they look like American mags. They are the the w original ones that I got the car with, and I guess they're from about seventy four or seventy three four something like that. Now you've had the car now since seventy six, correct? Correct. And it's a California car. No rust, and it's been inside, no rain. I think it got rained on once when I have had some work done on it. And they uh, now, what, what, have you, uh, what have you done uh, to the car yourself since you got it? Very little? Very little. I just put a sway bar on the front. Helps it in the turns a lot better. Because if the, you know the 55s, they... Oh, yeah, they, you know. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's the old days, Well, you know? this stiffened that's it up. That's older technology. This stiffened it up, and I put new carpeting in, a headliner. We were at the Rhinebeck show, and there were over 800 cars, and we got a little plaque for great interior. Is that right? Made out of Nogahide. Nogahide. Okay. Beautiful. And today beautiful it's either interior. leather or cloth. That's true. That's true. Well, you know what? And then again, it's to each uh, it, to each his own anyway. But uh, the car's a real, real, uh, real pretty car. Do you have any problems with, um, you know, like picking up chips and stuff? Because white shows everything. Not so far. Just don't ride on dirt roads. No, I mean, even when you're going down a road, you know, cars in front of you may kick up, you know, something. and The wheels you know. are tucked in there pretty well. And uh, unless you're going around a turn, it's not going to throw them out onto yeah. the side. Yeah. When I got the car, it didn't have the uh, hood ornament. Oh, it didn't? So that was a Christmas present for my wife last year. Okay. And uh, that really finishes it off. Cause it oh, yeah, well, it looks natural. It looked like a yellow uh, That's right. checker cab when yeah, it was right? coming down the road without it. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful car. Uh, uh, we appreciate you uh, giving us a few minutes, and uh, sure. good luck, uh, you know, with the car. Now, I don't know how they're judging today, um, whether it's peer judging or whether they're actually judging, because they have different classes for you, yeah, right? Yeah, right. There's the Mustangs, and then there's 55 to 59, and then 60 to what? I'm not sure how they work that. Well, they had to classify you when you came in. They put me in uh, 55 to 9, or 50 to 9. Um, not sure what that was, 59. Right. Well, that's good. I'm sure that they're going to recognize this car being as it is quite rare, and it is a really super clean car. So uh, appreciate your time with us, and sure. uh, good luck, and uh, enjoy you. the show. Thank you much. Keep cool. Another real nice car we came across um, walking around. Uh, it's owned by Don Butler, uh, and, and it's a 1941 super deluxe Ford. Um, Don, you're you're welcome to cars and us first. Thank you, right. thank you very and, much. And uh, nice to see you up at the show. Where are you where are you from? I'm you're from, from local Red Hook, New York. Oh, okay. So you're just, not too far away. No, just across the bridge. Right. Beautiful area up here. This Excellent. is this is a stunning park and uh, an ideal setup for a show. And it's a beautiful day, of course. Yes, it is. It sure is. It couldn't now, ask for better. Now, have you been here before? Uh, for the show? Yes, I have. Yeah, I didn't they, come last year, but. I was here yeah, a couple years before. They've been doing it before. for 25 years, so I know. they're doing a pretty good job. And I used to go when they had it at Johnson Ford. Yeah, I know. Uh, I was never there, but I knew that's where they had it before. Yes. But this is so much nicer. So, yeah, oh, it's beautiful uh, So this here. makes for a real great show. Much better here. But uh, your uh, your Ford is uh, it's just an eye-catcher. Well, thank the paint you. The job is really nice. Now, I'll start off with asking you, uh, first of all, how long have you had the car? I've had it since 1995, 1995. I see. Well, where did you pick it up? In a field. Is that right? And I probably should have left it there because it was in such bad condition. So what we're looking at here was once a basket case. Uh, almost, a yes, car. a real project car. No kidding. Yes. And um, how long did it take you to build it? And nine years. Is that right? Nine years. Wow. Yeah. Um, now, did you do most of the work yourself, or did you have to ship some farm some of it out? Or? No, I did it all myself. I had some some very good friends help me with some of the welding in the floors and trunk area and what have you. But uh, basically, the rest of it, I did it all myself. 
You must be some uh, old-time craftsman then. Well, not really. I just, I love it. You know, it just, I've, I've always had a love for old cars. Well, uh, that's why I said I think you grew up in the era. Yes, and I did. So, so you have a big interest, and apparently along the way you learned a lot because to undertake a project like this, right? Uh, you really have to, you really have to know something. Well, thank I, you know, I, you just some of the things you just learn. You don't know how you do it, but you do. But you do it. Well, that's because you want to do it. That's right. If you have that, um, uh, that initiative, you know, mm -hmm. it'll it'll come to fruition sooner or later. Right. Um, what, uh, what, what did you find that required the most amount of work? The body work itself. Is that right? Yes. Oh, yeah. So it was really poor. Yeah, very bad. And there's almost no part on this car that's original. Is that right? I have parts from all over the United States. Uh, speaking of parts, was it easy or difficult to come by parts? Uh, some were very difficult because uh, 1941 is a one year. That's only. I was. <laughs> you, you, you stole my thunder. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that's okay. That's yeah. uh, that's 40, what I want the viewers to know. 40 doesn't fit, and 42 doesn't. It's different. Right. It's right. some parts, but body parts, uh, horn ring, everything is a one year item. So sometime uh, you had to actually uh, hold up production because you had to wait for parts. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. The grill, I, the grill I got from somebody out in the uh, state of Washington. Mm -hmm. uh, the other parts came from somebody in Massachusetts. Fenders, uh, all four fenders came from a different car. Is that right? Yes. Well, you know what? Uh, you wound up doing all the body work, and um, and then you had to paint it. Yes. Right. So how did you choose the color, and what color have we got? Well, it's called a Mayfair maroon. I, uh, it's an original Ford color for 1941. Is it? Yes, it is. It's, wow. And I, uh, you know, I just mixed it, had it mixed, and it came up close with the original color. Don, did you paint the car yourself, too? Yes, I did. That's yeah. terrific. Yes, I wow. did. Wow, you must have a nice garage and, and uh, a nice well, condition. Well, uh, people, when they see my garage, say, no way did you do it here, you but, do it? but well, I did. that happens. That, you know, you that's, uh, that's the test of a true craftsman and yep. somebody that has their heart into it and wants to make right. sure that the product comes out right. uh, uh, as well as uh, as well as it can be under the circumstances. Mm -hmm. but I, and I take a lot of pride in it. You know, it's it's not an everyday driver, but it don't get trailer. Either, well, so. that's not a trailer queen. No, that's right. for sure. Uh, you're enjoying the car. That's the bottom yeah, line. Yes, completely. Right. Now, that's what we enjoy to hear. You mm -hmm. know, we enjoy uh, hearing that, uh, you know, that the guy put a uh, tremendous amount of work in the car and actually uh, affords himself the opportunity to use the car. Well, thank you. Yep, that's just very true. Now, uh, how many coats of paint? Uh, you know, it's it's well over, over almost three gallons. Is that right? Yeah, wow. and it's inside and out. Every bit of the car yeah. is it was maroon, just like it left the factory. I mean, the trunk area underneath the headliner, everything is the bottom looks as good as the top. And did you uh, did you clear coat it? No, no, clear no, huh? Coat. So no. this is it. You got a wax then? Yes, I do. <laughs> but I I'm an old timer and I like to see the color come off on the rag. Then you right, know you're doing right. something. Yep. <laughs> I, I hope you don't take the time to do it to do the old blue coral job. No, I don't. No, <laughs> no. But I did do uh, close to it. Yeah. Yeah. A, yeah. a paste wax, and then yep. that's only about every other year or so, and then, yeah. then the rest of it's just detailing, and it never gets washed. Well, it's a it's a gorgeous car, and uh, I'm really glad you took a few minutes of your time oh, to uh, more than speak welcome. with us because this is what the show is about. Uh, viewers get a chance to see these cars and talk and and find out from the owners exactly what. Uh, what they've got into the car and, and, and their heart and soul and, and, right. and, and, a, and a tremendous amount of work. Oh, yeah, and I've had a lot of uh, a lot of help is from friends and what right. have you, you know, just moral support. My wife right. is excellent. That's uh, what you need. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, I, but it's, uh, it, it's a love of, of, of love of labor that's, or that's, labor of love, whichever that's what it is. way. Labor of love. And, yeah. Uh, and uh, this is the proof of the pudding. So you've done a hell of a job. And again, I appreciate your spending a few minutes oh, you're with more us than, you're more than welcome. making my show possible. Okay, well, thank Th you. Thank you, Don. All right, you're welcome. I took some footage uh, when I saw this car roll in, and uh, it's a nice 23 T bucket. I uh, found the owner, Chris Valenti, so uh, I asked him, you know what? Come on, Cars and Us, we got to talk to you. Chris, how you doing? Welcome to Cars and Us. Thank you. Thank you for giving us a few minutes of your time. And, uh, Real neat car you got here. Uh, I like the color scheme, especially this blue and and and, uh, and gray. It's really, really, uh, really stands out. And uh, what caught my eye was the injectors. Uh, yeah, that's actually a, a Hillborn mock injection system. Right. So uh, it's actually a big air cleaner. It's a big right. fancy looking air cleaner. Right. That's 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 pretty pretty uh, uh, unique and uh, respected. If you see it from a distance, you can't tell. You Absolutely. Know? 55 or 65, you can't tell a thing. So you're running a single four barrel. 
single four barrel uh, Holley 770. And what motor? 357?